massive win against Ireland last week in their quarterfinal. 46 14 it was. It was one of the more complete performances at a World Cup in recent memory. They dismantled Ireland. The flip side was England, who were far too good for Australia, putting away the Wallabies 40 points to 16. They are the number one ranked side in the world, New Zealand, and the number two on the other side of halfway in the form of England. You want box office, you've got it. We are rolling on semi-final number one, New Zealand v England, and they mix it up right from the kickoff. England into the All Blacks. 22 they go. Settling at the base there is Smith, who box kicks. Up over halfway, and England will be happy to play the first line out of the night. I'm Sean Maloney alongside me, Welsh Test Centurion Martin Williams. Sideline is Carl Tanana. KT, the pitch in front of you yesterday underwater. It looks okay now. Yeah, drains pretty well here in Yokohama. They had some rain last week, it didn't affect it whatsoever. First line out. In steps Jamie George. He finds Laws down off the top. Ford. They bash it up through. Hard running to Alungi. Continue to work it around the corner here. Shifting wide now, looking to get Watson into the play. Lovely ball from Daly to Watson, who was a real handful last week in the win against Australia. Good quick ball here for the English. Ford, deep. Farrell sends it wide. In the line goes Daly. Daly loops it long and finds. A freewheeling front rower out wide. George into the 22, deep in now. Lovely hands to Sinclair. He keeps it alive. England moving hard and up the park here. Five away. It began back on the 50-metre line. Bang it in close here through Laws. They pick and go, and they're over. It is a rapid strike for England. And Manu Tuolungi's name goes up in light to Yokohama. What a start from this English team. Ball in hand, just got on the outside of the drift, missed tackle. Great play from Watson, who spoke about him showing he was electric against Australia. Keeps the momentum going, keeps pumping his legs. Great off hold from Courtney Laws. Keep the ball alive, Carl Sinclair. George Ford was in. Two or three phases later, and the power of Tuolangi. What a start, KT, for England. Under two minutes as well. What was noticeable, the missed tackles, is the conversion is successful, as you'd expect. But too many tackles in that first facet of play from New Zealand really put them under pressure from there. They were scrambling right here. Nice hit up there by Courtney Laws. Look at the huge hole to the right-hand side. Well taken. 
steering towards the sticks now it's ripped away by New Zealand so their defense comes up big and now they've got numbers across this near side good you good you going himself with a leak on the outside silky hands across for bridge who beats the first up tackle of curry brave stuff from New Zealand Barrett into the line Barrett holding it up beautifully the Toje goes across with a key tackle Smith back short side Reese Sibu Reese he died silent last week and put some feet to work on that occasion a bit Marco Vorni Polo red ball by two along here he go England again May looking to outpace Barrett desperate defense still with May then dropped then dropped and now back with New Zealand is frenetic from both sides. Somehow, New Zealand avoid conceding more points. White lock, Savia. Okay, advantage. Now the penalty advantage for New Zealand. Smith sniping. High tackle was a call there against Utoje. Good Hugh trying to grab him behind and we'll go back to the mark. Whoa, Martin Williams. Take a breather, everybody. We've still got 72 of this to go. Brilliant work from the big man. Barrett. It's a shallow up and under. And it's grabbed nicely by May. He's been steady under the high stuff. George this time, standing in the tackle, offloading well. Then the kick on the other side. Farrell, a little ginger in back play here for England. Barrett keeps it alive for Ritali. Has Sevilla on his hip, can't find him. Good use there, though. Good you for Barrett. Bowden Barrett back for good you. Good you into touch. Two and a half to go in the first 40. He has been drill a second stuff, and now it's ripped away by New Zealand. A huge play. Under pressure and their line out snaps one back from England. Smith, good you. Munger, no look. Ball across for Bowden Barrett. Sylvie Reese has hardly had a handle after 38 minutes of action. Can they stun England here in the shadows of half time? Taylor. Forward with a good tackle. Munger. There's that rush D from England. The workout okay after the initial miss from Curry. Moonga looking for options and bereft of them across to the right. Now England Turn strong the with away. a counter. Still Turn for England. And it'll come one of their kickers. The and it might just be 10 zip at the break. That's huge from England. Oh, it's big. Oh, that's done everything in England that time. That man, Manu Six. Chilang, he just, he's Six. shooting up on the outside and he's cutting off Moanga's options. Yeah. Just see the man on the outside, he's shooting up, puts Moanga into two mines, turns into the big fellas, and we saw one of the kamikaze kids get over the ball and win a penalty just a split second ago that time. Sam Underhill huh? over the ball, wins the penalty. So with Owen Farrell not moving too well, in steps... Ford to take the shot at the poles. It's George Ford. George Ford. 45 from home. Ford looking to draw it back. Ford. It's got enough on it. England go up by 10. Here we go again, New Zealand v England, second half underway in Yokohama International, England are up by 10. Through 40, now Young's smacking it up the park. Here with Bowden Barrett, gets it to Reese with an early touch, he gets it over the top for Taylor, Cody Taylor, propping and then hit me chips by Manu Tualani. Oh, no. oh, that's good work. Moonga, wide for Reid, turn goes to Leonard Brown, Rich, on that far side and now it's loose, back is the call from referee 
Nigel Owens. New Zealand. Short to Sevilla. Off the hip of Retallick. He shoots it out the back. Youngs has checked off the chase there, but the penalty will go. No, no, he's chasing that ball. You. It will? Yes. Initially, the arm was the other way. Now, Nigel Owens swings no, it around. And England the get the penalty. Daly Onside. gives Everybody. chase. Barrett goes up. Daly outleaps him. It's going to fall here for Sinclair, I think it is. What a game he's had. Now the grubber in behind. Tidied up by New Zealand. Lost then after the contact. It's a big clean out from England. Laws. He's been a tower at line out time. Short to Mako Vunipola. Ridden down by Taylor. Ford. Ford. Keeping alive out the back, tidied up by Vuni Pollock, Billy. Now it's loose for Johnny May. Two tries last week inside three minutes against Australia in his 50th test match. Sinclair away for Billy Vuni Back short side, Farrell in. Numbers are okay as well, but it's read by Reese. Reese then throws it loose back for Youngs, who grubbers ahead. Barrett left to tidy up, but Tojay over the top, holds his feet well. Can he get the turnover? He forces the penalty. Rips it down for England. The counter mauling is excellent from New Zealand. Checked once. Now they edge it a little closer. Oh, it's a tough handle at the back there in slippery conditions. Young. Youngs! England! Go clear by 15! Twice, I think it was Billy Vinopola, nearly lost the ball. Oh, did that go forward? No. Question mark, as the minute TMO hasn't picked it up. And now he it has. It is now, yeah. The TMO has clear views in front of him, and he ain't close to us what he's saying. It is lost by your player, but it, the guy who guards it is in front of him. So that's why we can't allow it. Yeah, but he's in front of him. So he's. Oh, and please listen to my explanation. The team was confirmed, okay? What we looks like on the screen as well. That the comes from the player behind, loses control of it, and taken by the player in front of him. So therefore, we cannot allow the try because he's in front. If he was behind him, it's not an issue. So, so no try. No so try. No try. So they're handing in on the ball, ripping it. No, nothing. Nothing at that. Lost on. Itoje with some room almost got through. It was a desperate low tackle from Ella. They came off the hand there surely of Smith. Okay, tackle yep. off the ball on it. Not quite advantage here for Leave England. Vantage, tackle off the ball. Tackle off the ball, in fact. England. Gonna cut through Slade. Ten from home. There. Farrell helping secure. Two along in there at Scrum Half. They had five wiped off moments ago. Can they convert this time around? Youngs, the fold open, it's bouncing across the deck, it's scrappy and no Number real advantage. Tackle off the board. Number 20 black. Number 20 black Kane. on eight white. Sam Kane on Billy Vinopola and it's an absolute lay down shot from right in front. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep, let's keep focusing. Good back and forth, Marius. Here's the chip shot from Ford. Boom! Perinara. At the back to Reed. Bowden Barrett. Kane, lovely hands for Sonny Williams. Over to Seven Reese. Seven Reese bouncing a touch. Were there any arms in that tackle from Slade? George. Oh, it's over. Throw to Arnie Sophia, New Zealand. This one, the England lineout, which has worked to perfection all evening. The one you have to nail five meters out, overthrown and Adi Sevilla. Christmas has come early for the All Black Open side. He's over, KT.
and they're back in it. Oh, the competition from Brody Vitale getting up and challenging Mario Atoje has been so solid as you spoke about Martin, exactly what New Zealand needed. Dane Coles knows the importance of that. Richie Moana. 12 in from touch. He goes Richie and it is a sweet shot at the poles. Surveys, what's the play? Bruni Pola. Bruni Pola peels out. Penalty advantage here for England. Youngs. Ben Youngs. Oh, that was on the outside. Oh, oh, floats it over to Ford. It's grassed and we're coming back for the penalty. It was 10-0 at the break to England. Then 13-0 before that try for Sabia. Now to extend here for England. Ford with the opportunity. Ford nails it. England 16, New Zealand 7. Hines deep for Farrell. Billy Vunapola. Towards the 22, still under advantage here. And we're heading back. Number four, Black. There's the call, goes against Brody Ritali. Yeah. Farrell has handed off the kicking tee to George Ford. 44 metres on the angle. To make it a 12-point game in favour of England. Ford. George Ford. Pipes it right on through. 19, play seven, and we've only got ten to run. England are clear. There is just no way through this English wall. The full-time gong goes at Yokohama International, and still they keep whacking England. They're happy without the ball than with at the moment. They're really tenderising the All Blacks. They come up again. Sonny Williams, Jard. They are all out on their feet. It has been an absorbing, physical, platinum class semi-final that sees England kicking it backwards for Jordy Barrett. And that sums up the game. Fast pace and fantastic. And it's England who come away as winners. Eddie Jones.